Hi, I'm Prof. Johnny. Welcome to Goodwill Training and Assessment Center Incorporated. May kasabihan tayo na sa Diyos ang awa na sa tao ang gawa. So ano pa hinihintay natin? Tara na at gawa na tayo! Now let's find out or set the length of stroke of the machine. Kailangan, the rule of thumb is the length of the workpiece plus the overrun. How long is the overrun for the length of stroke? Okay. Kung ito ay 20mm, pwede tayo maglagay ng 5mm dito sa likuran at 10mm dito sa starting point. 1 is to 2 para may buwelo tayo sa starting point. Okay, tingnan natin yung nakaset ngayon na length of stroke. Okay, masyadong mahaba. So, i-exian natin. Lalak natin. Let's check again. Okay. This is the overrun. The length of stroke is longer than the length of the workpiece. Okay. Then, positioning. Positioning means, tama na yung length of stroke. Pero kunwari, hindi siya tumatapat sa workpiece. So, i-adjust natin yung RAM. Pero since exacto na siya, lumalampas yung tool bit dito sa likuran at meron tayong alawan sa harapan, exacto na yung position ng RAM. So, wala tayong gagalawin. Babaguin lang natin yung speed or strokes per minute. Bibilisan natin konti. Okay, gawin ko ang 17 strokes per minute. Okay. Then, always position that tool bit at the starting point. Okay. Then, let's proceed to the build-up feet. At yun ang i-re-reshape natin. Okay. Position ko muna ang tool post natin or tool bit dito sa isang feet or groove na workpiece. Na-set up na lahat. Let's now start machining the workpiece. Okay. Yan na yung full depth. Stop the machine. At the starting point, release natin yung tool bit pataas. Then, let's proceed to the next tooth. The linear pitch is 7.98 mm. Okay. Let's cut for the next tooth. Good. I-re-repair na rin natin yung uh, next tooth pa. Kahit hindi na build up on, maka may konting uh, tabingin ng teeth. So, napansin nyo, 
Nakakainan pa rin yung succeeding teeth kahit hindi natin na-build upan dahil medyo namaga at may konting uh, pagkatabingi yung teeth. So medyo na puwersa sa paggamit noon. So inaayos na natin yung formation ng teeth. Okay. Punta na tayo sa next na na-damage na teeth. Okay. Next to Okay, tapos na lahat na na-build up ang tip. Itry na natin kung maganda na engagement dun sa pinion gear, kanyang mating part. Okay, testing natin kung hindi na siya nagja-jam between the rock and the pinion. Ito na yung na-build up pan at na-reshape natin tip ng rock gear. Okay. Mas matetest natin na mabuti mamaya pag in-install na natin ang carrier assembly doon sa light machine. So, install na natin. Okay, sunod na natin yung pinion gear together with the carriage assembly of the late machine. Okay, lead screw and the feed shaft. Okay, next, the feed shelf. Next, on the other side, the forward and reverse of the spindle. Switch on lever. Lagay na yung guide ng feed shaft, lead screw, and the switch on and off shaft. Okay, now let's test whether the rock and pinion are now engaging smoothly. Okay?
very good. I don't feel any jamming anymore between the rack and the pinion. Very smooth. Okay, let's try to run the machine. Okay, automatic feed. Yan tumapat na yung pinion dun sa ni-repair natin feet ng rock gear. Yan, walang jamming. Very smooth. Okay? So, again, another late machine that we have reconditioned successfully. So, for those who are interested to buy this machine, please contact me on my YouTube channel. Additional knowledge. What do we mean by E6013 sa welding electrode? E stands for electrode. And the first two digits indicate the minimum tensile strength of the weld in thousands of PSI. So there are 60,000 PSI in this electrode. And the third digit refers to welding position, such as all positions, horizontal and flat positions, and flat position only. So I can use this electrode in all positions, either horizontal position or flat position, vertical position, and overhead position. And the fourth digit refers to the type of current to be used and indirectly to the kind of coating of the electrode. So the number three in E6013 refers to AC or DC straight or reverse. And the coating of this electrode is titania potassium. That's all and see you again next time. Thank you very much.